Hi, my name is Cam and I'm from Get Smart Science. Today I'm going to talk to you about circuits. There are two main types of circuits. They are parallel and series. And what that means is that the components of the circuit are organized in slightly different ways. One is known as a parallel circuit and one is known as a series circuit. Let me show you. So, in the diagram you can see that in the series circuit we have a continuous flow of electricity going through two components and I'm using two bulbs as a way of showing you how the circuit is constructed. So in the series circuit the current flows from the battery from the positive side through both the first bulb and then through the second bulb. The current flows through the first bulb and then through the second bulb. In other words the whole current flows through both of the bulbs at the same time. In a parallel circuit, the two bulbs are organized in such a way that there is a branch, when the current flows down here, there is a branch which allows the current to split. The current then splits into two different currents. This we call I1 and I2. So, if we assume that the two bulbs are identical, then it is plausible to think that the current is split equally so that I1 and I2 will be the same. In this circuit, the current is shared. So, the current coming down from, from the positive side of the battery gets to this junction here, some of it goes through there, and some of it goes through there, and then it rejoins back again to make the circuit complete. The main difference is the amount of energy. So, let's think. If in this circuit the energy is going through the bulbs, then the bulbs are both getting the same amount of energy which is supplied from the battery. In the parallel circuit, the energy supplied gets split, so therefore the bulbs both have to split the current. In other words, the flow of energy is less and therefore there will be a separate and a different amount of energy transferred to both the bulbs. So the main difference in the way that the circuits are structured is that the two components are in the same part of the circuit in a series circuit and in a parallel circuit the components are allowed so that the electricity can pass through them individually and then combine again in the other side of the circuit. Now. In order to make sure which type of circuit you use, it'll depend on what the components are and what they are to be used for. This is a little bit more advanced at this stage, but you have to remember that parallel and series are ways of arranging electrical components in a circuit for different uses depending on what amount of energy they will need and in what condition. Okay, see you next time.